As the U.S. considers a return to the moon, the reliance on expensive, risky rockets has led one research outfit to push ahead with the radical concept that could one day make rocket travel obsolete, building an elevator stretching 62,000 miles from the Earth's surface. Uh, you have a ribbon in our case, or a cable, one end attached to an anchor point on Earth, the other end is 62,000 miles up in space, and due to the rotation of the Earth, the upper end is thrown outward, lower end is pulled down by gravity, and it remains stationary. It's sort of like spinning a ball and a string around your head. Once erected, cargo and someday people would move up and down on climbers driven by electric motors getting their juice from high-powered lasers. If it sounds like something out of science fiction, it is. The concept was popularized in the 1970s by writers such as Arthur C. Clarke. Similar ideas date back to the 19th century, but all have been dismissed as having a tether too heavy to work. What's different now is the invention of high-tech materials called carbon nanotubes. These carbon molecules are many times stronger than steel and a fraction of the weight. Scientists say a ribbon three feet wide and paper thin would be strong enough to support the elevator. At the earthbound end, the ribbon would be anchored by a platform or ship off of South America's Pacific coast in a zone free of lightning, high winds, and air traffic. Proponents say an elevator would provide a cheaper and safer way than rockets to get payloads into space. Oh. We have had an anomaly. The elevator could deploy satellites into orbit and even send spacecraft toward other planets. It could take over many of the duties of the now grounded space shuttle, such as transporting components to the International Space Station. But skeptics say the key component is missing. We do not have the capability right now to fabricate the carbon nanotube cable on which the space elevator depends. So at this point, the, the whole thing is a visionary proposal, has lots of interesting features, but it's no more than that. Scientists concede it could take years to refine the high-tech carbon nanotube composites into a workable tether. There are also political concerns, safety considerations, and in an age of terrorism, fears about sabotage. Even with these hurdles, backers see the first space elevator going up within 15 years at a cost of 10 to 15 billion dollars. Edwards, who's been shopping the concept to governments and corporations trying to secure funding, says whoever builds it will dominate space. If Japan were to step up or the Europeans were to step up and build one, they could be colonizing the moon or Mars before you know, our space initiative really takes off and gets somebody there. So far, NASA has given the project half a million dollars, and Congress has earmarked 2.5 million more. Kevin Venez, The Associated Press, Washington.